Live Spotlight Report. And I can't wait to see this interview with beautiful Juliet. Hey. Hey. Hi, Juliet. It's Scooby-Doo here. Man, I'd really love to talk to you. So you've got some questions for me. And um, I'm going to hand the mic back to you now. <laughs> Sneal Fanning, Scooby-Doo. So I, got a, I do have a few questions that I need to ask you. Yep. So first of all, what is your favourite Scooby-Doo moment? My favourite Scooby-Doo moment would be um, when I was performing with Rowan Atkinson um, in the uh, office. So on that particular day, I, I was, him and I were the only actors called for the whole day. And I worked with Rowan Atkinson for a whole entire day, just him and I, um, because he would act to me and I would do the, do, act the role back to him, but not be seen. I'm being recorded on a microphone, not like this, but on a, on a, a microphone that is called a lapel microphone. And um, I'm, I, he's looking at me and I'm acting back to him uh, for all the scenes where I went, um, he's trying to get me to be a sacrifice. Um, and so I go, rack rise. That's the scene in the office with Rowan Atkinson. That's my favorite moment. Apart from every other scene that I did with Matthew Lillard, who is amazing as Shaggy. Wow. Uh, and a great guy and a dear friend and um, a legend. So anything with Matthew Lillard and then Rowan Atkinson's day. Is that okay? Yeah. So this is my second question. What is your favorite ghost? My favorite ghost is um, Captain Cutler. Um, scary. I've got a photo of him and I on uh, my socials on Instagram and Facebook at uh, Scooby Doo Neil Fanning. Jump on there and have a look at it. It's uh, amazing, and the costumes and wardrobe and makeup on the Scooby Doo One and Two were just um, unbelievably um, on point and amazing. And uh, so, yeah, he'd be my favourite. Okay, this is my third question. How is working with all the other actors in Scooby-Doo? Yep, fantastic. Really good, Juliet, because um, what they appreciated was that I, I, I'm acting to them and bringing 110% to every scene that I did. And so it really helped them for me to be acting directly to them. So the camera's here and you're Velma, because you've got the glasses, and you're acting to me and I'm acting to you, but they're not seeing me. But for the actors, they've got, I'm, I, they can look in my eyes and I'm doing all the facial expressions because I'm acting the role, okay? And it really helped their performance. So for, for me to be involved with the actors live on set, and I'm hoping to do that with a Scooby-Doo live action series that's just been announced in the last six weeks with Belanti Productions and Netflix going to be amazing. So hopefully, Juliet, I'm going to be reprising my role as the voice of Scooby-Doo in the upcoming TV series live action for Netflix. Um, so stay tuned. Hopefully there's some good news ahead. Okay. This is my last question. How did you become a voice actress? <laughs> voice actor. Okay. Um, long story, but I was a voice artist for about six years before I got the role of Scooby-Doo in, in both live action movies. Um, uh, and basically I was an actor, I was an actor, then I became a stunt man, then I became a voice artist. So uh, it was a, quite a long road, but I was working at Warner Brothers Movie World on the Gold Coast for 14 and a half years. And during that time, I had the opportunity to um, do some voices on some movies and TV shows, lots, in about, for about six years. I was doing radio commercials and documentaries and things. Um, and then they decided to film the first Scooby-Doo on the Gold Coast, my hometown, um, back in 2001. And I got the opportunity to be that voice artist who was performing live to the actors. They love what I did. I had a voice off with the American guy, the American voice artist, um, doing the car few cartoons at the time. And they went with me. There you go. Dreams come true, folks. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Scooby-Dooby-Doo!